took a lot of pictures because fuck if I know where any of these wires go. And uh, I printed out a ton and I'm putting them up and we're kind of using that to help figure out where this giant rat's nest goes. Are we gonna figure it out, Beth? We already figured it out. <laughs> Nothing's gonna go wrong. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, shit, it looks like a motorcycle. Wow, I was so scared that I would not be able to get this thing back in to the frame. The nickel matches the very slight warm tint of the suspension. I am thrilled with this so far. I think it's going to be just spectacular. I thought I'd just quickly take a second and sort of talk about intake and exhaust. Exhaust is pretty straightforward. An open exhaust has less restriction. And restrictions are the enemy of good flow. And since the engine is an air pump, anything that is restricting the ability to get mixture in and out going to hamper the performance. Part of the restriction is going to be the exhaust, but also the catalytic converter is essentially a second exhaust. You can see inside that it's basically filled with almost like a honeycomb mesh. So this will quiet the bike quite a bit as it acts like a second muffler. Whereas this pipe has no cap and it comes straight through. And if you take out this DB killer, there is zero restriction. And yeah, we're gonna take that out. A lot of the things I'm changing in the bike are intake and exhaust. Since the engine is an air pump, all it can do is suck in more mixture through the downstroke of the piston. The more that it can bring in, the more power. So anything you can do to reduce the restrictions, is gonna give you more power. Now the stock air box is really cool. Look at that, it's like a little thing. The stock air box, all of the air comes through these two snorkels. And these are actually fairly small. They are probably less than the diameter of the actual throttle bodies. So this is a big restriction. Plus these paper filters, they can be a disaster if they get wet. There's a fair bit of restriction on this as well. So all of this is designed to reduce the sound of the engine. You can see KTM headquarters. And that helps it pass all of the emissions inspections. But let's look at the new airbox. So this airbox is using the same snorkels from the, uh, from the other airbox. It's got a little bit more volume, but look at how much air all the way around this filter. That is a huge amount of surface area. This airbox will breathe a lot better. So while I did clean the bike, there's a million places on an adventure bike where dirt gets in there. I'm basically taking each part to the slop sink in the laundry room and then just washing it, scrubbing bubbles and a soft brush. That seems to be doing a pretty good job. Then a little bit of pledge to help it uh, clean up nicely. And yeah. So I just use masking tape on the, a lot of these wires to sort of remember where they are. So for future work, I'm gonna use some label making tape. And that way, if I ever take these apart again, God forbid, I have this ready to go, nice and neat. This right here is the seat lock. It fits right up here and it sits right here. And now I'm really in love with this big open area and the last thing I wanna do is put this in there. Yeah, that just looks like crap. So since this is here, and clearly it doesn't wanna be on the bike either. Since I left this tab, I'm trying to think of a way that I can run the cable to here and just create some sort of maybe a little pull that essentially releases the seat and is hidden away in this little area. So I'm trying to figure out whether I make a loop. I might be able to use like the seat dropper post release, the remote trigger on those. So I don't quite have the answer yet, but I wanna, I wanna utilize this since it's here. It would be pretty easy to just put something up into the subframe there. I feel like having left this this is the natural spot for it to be.
So that's what I'm gonna do. So I went really far down the rabbit hole on this whole seat latch thing. I'm like four hours into this to make a stupid latch. Yeah, this is, here I'll show you where I'm at. I have this little guy laid out on the rotary table. So I'm gonna machine that out. just plunged this end mill down and um, it chattered a whole bunch. I am hoping, hoping, hoping that I didn't take too much and that I did it correctly. David, I wanted to get you a going away present, so this one's for you. So basically, you just release that and the seat comes up. I had to make a cable stop in here and the cable is hidden. That is it. Was that worth an entire day? No, no, it was not. It was not. It was not worth, it wasn't even worth a fraction of the day, but it's done. I'm pretty damn happy with it.